Top U.S. military generals faced tough questioning by lawmakers on Capitol Hill, saying they believed U.S. forces should have remained in Afghanistan and implying they communicated that advice to the president. The nation's leading generals faced tough questioning by lawmakers on Capitol Hill Tuesday, saying they believed U.S. forces should remain in Afghanistan and implying they communicated that advice to the president. The chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff testifying that he believed it necessary to maintain U.S. troop presence ahead of the withdrawal, offering a differing account from President Biden's statements. My assessment was uh, back in the fall of 20, and it remained consistent throughout, that uh, we should keep a steady state of 2,500, and it could bounce up to 3,500, maybe something like that, uh, in order to move toward a negotiated, gated solution. Did you ever present that assessment personally to President Biden? I don't discuss exactly what uh, my conversations are with the sitting president in the Oval Office, but I can tell you what my personal opinion was, and I'm okay. always candid. General Frank McKenzie saying he had warned what would happen if we didn't leave 2,500 troops behind. And my view is that 2,500 was an appropriate number to remain, and that if we went below that number, in fact, we would probably witness a collapse of the Afghan government and, uh, and the Afghan military. So, General, Mc General McKenzie, Matt, may I just, the, I guess my question is, would it be fair for the committee to assume that both President Trump and President Biden received that specific information? I believe it would be uh, reasonable for the committee to assume that. That contradicts President Biden's statements in an interview with ABC News last month. Your military advisors did not tell you, no, we should just keep 2,500 troops. It's been a stable situation for the last several years. We can do that. We can continue to do that. No, no one said that to me that I can recall. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki pushed back against suggestions that the president misled the public on recommendations from his military advisors. The president made clear that the advice was split. Uh, he didn't outline what every individual uh, conveyed to him in private advice. Michael O'Hanlon of the Brookings Institution weighed in on the issue on CBN's Faith Nation. The central reality is we didn't have to lose Afghanistan in the first place. We didn't have to decide to leave in April. And Mr. Biden's team did not recommend that we depart when he made that decision back in the spring. Alpha, oh man.